Excellent. We can leave now. Huh. I don't know why my buffalo won't use that leg. Maybe he's hurt. You'll find the harpy tree beyond this swamp. The raiders live there. They raise these strange birds and know how to fly them. If you want to get to the clouded pyramids, ask them for help. You'll also have to cross the marsh, but I can't help you with that. Well, take care. If you manage to reach the pyramids, keep in mind that the Tahunga aren't the hospitable type. Don't pay with your life for the journey. Farewell. Well, well, who dares come here uninvited? You look strange, girl. Where are you from? From other lands? Looking for a shaman? And you need raiders for this? I'll help you. You know, getting to the raider's tree is tricky. I am. 
bananas with sharp thorns can kill anyone who attempts to climb the tree on their own. However, there's a special potion. One drop of that, and all the lianas will let you pass. I'll give it to you under one condition. Uh, since you know the shamans, bring me one thing. A mask of reincarnation. It's hidden in a cache inside the tomb. One only shamans can get into. I've got the key, though. Bring me the mask, and I'll help you. for the mess. You can't even imagine how precious it is to me. You can ask for anything in exchange. I'll give you the potion I promised and anything else you desire. Oh, it's time for me to go, unfortunately. But if you need anything, just take it. Don't be shy. Want to get to the Tahunga and the Clouded Pyramids? You know that's suicide, right? You say that Tahunga captured your friend, the Shaman? Oh, I doubt he's still among the living. Anyway, none of my people would risk a flight there. But if you're determined to go, I can sell you a harpy and teach you to control. If you've got enough gold, that is.
guess this should be enough gold. Now, listen carefully, and I'll tell you how to control a harpy. These wonderful birds grow here, right on the tree. They materialize right from the wood. But for the bird to come to life and turn into a faithful helper, you need a special potion. A potion of bonding. You need to pour it on to a blossoming bird and drink some yourself. After that, a special bond will be established between the two of you, so that even at a distance the bird will hear your thoughts and understand what you want from it. That's how the bird shows its gratitude for you for bestowing life upon it. I'll give you the potion recipe. All you've got to do is to brew it. Also, you'll need a special helmet. The potion is made of many ingredients, and it won't be easy to brew it. I'd better return to the merchant. I saw a lab there.
Someone has come. Can you save me? The Tahunga brought me on a bird just like yours. They wanted to sacrifice me, but I managed to escape. I fell into the water, so the Tahunga must have thought I drowned. I've been wandering through these mountains for days, trying to hide from them. I'm very tired, and I'm starving. I can help you get into the pyramids, but please, give me some food first.
I saw them pass through a door in the waterfall. For the door to appear, we'll need a special key which is hidden in that building nearby. Careful, a trap! First cut the upper rope, then the bottom one, and then the middle one. with the toad. It's poisonous, and if its slime gets into the blood, it can paralyze a person for several hours.
Josh. Are you satisfied? You let them into our world. But we're the gods here, and no stranger is welcome. But I'm grateful to you, Shosh, you know. I will destroy their world, and the prophecy will never come true. Look. Look what I will do to their planet.
stop Axar, the High Tuhunga. He's planning to use all his power to destroy your world. He's been preparing this for centuries. Now he's opening the gate to your world to send a large gust of energy, capable of destroying your whole planet. I think I know where to find him, and how to stop him. Quickly, let's go. Thanks. 